so per the usual with my little sidekick Dylan I'm not sure what I videotaped because he's just bouncing around at the end of this leash so I wanted to show you this this is the little preserve that is built in the uh, middle of the community of Sterling Oak so I'm here today uh, actually the air conditioner is out at my house so I am a guest so I wanted to show you this because a lot of people don't know that this is in the middle of Sterling Oaks. You can actually see the back of this preserve from Old 41, sort of across from, uh, I think it's Sun Century uh, Industrial Park. So all of the water runoff from this part of Naples and the community of Sterling Oaks actually ends up in this preserve to recharge through this mart. So what this means is uh, they want the water to absorb slowly back into uh, the aquifer and not end up draining out through the ditches so when people see standing water they are like oh no you know why do we have st standing water you know there's not good drainage this is all by design so that the fertilizers and you know any sorts of toxic uh, runoff that could be like lead or mercury that's from fuel and tires of cars goes back into the aquifer meanwhile it's a great place for the critters to live i've seen tons of things back here before uh, deer, uh, otters, raccoons, you know, they're, they're always out here. So if you see those dark red trees in the distance, that's actually a Florida maple that likes standing water. Some of these trees that look like they're not doing well are actually cypress. They are doing well. They just go through periods of leaflessness. You know, they're called by bald cypress for a reason. And this video is actually being taken uh, right before Hurricane Dorian comes from the Bahamas. So we've got some really unusual clouds. And that's it. Wanted you to see this beautiful preserve. I'll turn around and head out so you can see it's a wooden boardwalk that turns into a shell path.